everyone, it's Bobby with The Rediscovery Effect. Thanks for joining us for this episode. Today our guest is Ricardo Garcia with Back Unturned Brewing in San Antonio. Thanks for joining us. Hi guys, thanks for joining. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what all you do here at Back Unturned? Yeah, so Back Unturned Brewing Company, uh, we're a brew club. We brew our own beers and we also have a scratch pizza kitchen. And uh, we're a, a small business and what we uh, strive for here is just to give the Customers are a really good experience, make them feel like family and, family and friends where you guys want to come back and hang out. Perfect. And uh, I can attest to that because before I met Ricardo, I actually came here as a client and enjoyed um, pizza and wings and craft beer myself. So that's how we met. Yeah, well, thank you. Um, so how did you like dream up the idea of Back Unturned and kind of get this business started? So uh, when I was younger, I was all over the place. I had, from the age of... 15 to 30, I had about 15, 16 different jobs, so I was all over the place, and uh, when I got to the, about 33, I finally decided, okay, I need to pick one thing and just focus on that, okay. and that's what I, I started home brewing as a hobby, uh, when our first born, when we first had our first born, and uh, so I picked home brewing just because you're, you're home, home brewing. Yeah. <laughs> you're home no, with the baby. I, you know, fishing or hunting or golfing or, you know, you're gone. And then from there, I just got really obsessed with it and made the transition. I started the project in 2015. We opened and about four and a half years later. And we named it Back Unturned Brain Company because the dream, I didn't turn my back on. Perfect. Awesome. Follow through. Fabulous. And we're glad you're here. Um, so owning your own business can uh, definitely be challenging. And it sounds like you opened kind of right before COVID hit. Yeah, about four months before the whole shutdown happened. Okay, so uh, and definitely that was a huge hiccup for all small business owners. So right. kind of how do you, how did you stay motivated during that time period to just kind of get up and keep pushing forward with the business? Well, I mean, with the, owning a small business, obviously it would be a lot easier to just have like a, like a normal job, right? Where I don't have to take any responsibility right. or anything. Clock out at five o'clock and go home, don't worry about it. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, for me though, I just always had that entrepreneurial desire and I couldn't shake it, could not get rid of it. Um, so, to stay motivated, really, it's just you got families that are employed, you've got bills that you have to pay, you've got customers that want you to be open. It was just, uh, it's either that fight or flight. So, okay. for me, it's more of a fight. Okay. So, and, and then that pressure almost just kind of made you focus. Right. Okay. So, during that, you know, we pivoted and we were, people couldn't get, uh, some normal groceries like milk and eggs and toilet paper. We couldn't do our supplier, so we were selling, in addition to pizza and beer, okay. toilet paper, milk, and eggs. <laughs> okay, so, so kind yeah. of some essentials that people were struggling right. to get. Okay, um, and we are located, uh, for those of you watching the blog, Back Unturned is located downtown, uh, just off the Riverwalk Extension. So why did you select this location to open your business? Well, originally I wanted to be located uh, northwest of town. Uh, this landlord is he gave me a chance. Okay. Yeah, and when I pitched the idea to him, he's like, "Oh, great, let's do it." Uh, at that time, our energy or CPS Energy headquarters was being built. Okay. And it just made sense because the, this whole area is uh, being built up. Right. New offices, new apartments. Right. So I could see from opening, fast forwarding three, five, ten years. Right, what it's gonna look like. It was gonna be a great right. opportunity. Right, and uh, and again, those of you that watch the blog have heard me talk to some of the other business owners and they talk a lot about the same thing, about the growth in the city of San Antonio and the construction and the growing pains that we're going through here. But um, the, the potential, the opportunity right. Right. That, that this yeah. growth is creating, I think is what's driving so many businesses downtown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then now it's, it's been nice because now that people are back at work, our lunches are picking up. And you can right. tell it's just more active. Right, yeah, more people physically going to work and having to go on a lunch break. Yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah. okay that makes total sense. Um, so since you are down here in the in the neighborhood, what would you say is your favorite thing about being down here? Uh, I would definitely say the Riverwalk. It's really nice because we're right next to the lock and dams mm -hmm. where the tour barges, uh, they pull into the locks and it fills with water. They go up and they go back down. That's, I don't know, it's kind of nice to walk over there. It's peaceful to watch. Right, it is very peaceful. And yeah. then also, uh, there's just a lot of things here. Like I go to a local gym right down the street. Mm -hmm. You know, after I get off work or before I come to work, I go to the gym and then you just see people, the regulars. Right. You may go to another bar or another restaurant. Oh, hey, so-and-so, how are you 
doing. Uh, I really enjoy that. Okay. So just kind of getting to know your clientele and seeing the tourists in the river and right. everything that comes with downtown. Yeah. Okay. Um, so since you've been open a couple of years now, what is the most impactful thing that you think any of your customers or even employees for that matter have ever told you about your business? Um, the, the one thing that always seems to resonate with me is that they, people will say, man, you've really got something cool here. You're doing great. And you know, they've, so like I said before, we strive for customer experience. They were not always perfect. We make mistakes, but when people come in, uh, it's the service, it's how the food tastes, how the beer tastes, just having people feel like they're friends and family, and giving them a unique experience that you can't just get at the Anywhere USA restaurant or whatever that may be. And that's usually the most impactful thing that people say is like, man, this is a really cool place. We really like coming here. Yeah. I mean, there's, they never like pinpoint to one certain thing. Mm -hmm. I think it's just a lot of variables that come into play to help them feel like that. Okay, perfect. That's a great answer. And the because people will definitely come back when they feel welcomed, and mm -hmm. and, and this and the service is good, and the food is good, and and everything just meshes. So it sounds like you've nailed that. So that's fabulous. Um, one of the things I wanted to ask, and since you are downtown with a lot of small businesses, why do you feel like it's so important? for people in the community to support those local businesses. It's super important, and I never realized how important it was until we opened it. Uh, so for us, we don't have the marketing dollars, and we don't have the, the, the big budgets to drive all this traffic in, uh, because we, we employ, uh, there's so many small businesses around, we employ a big portion of the community, and it makes a big difference. So, you know, it's weird because I'll drive home and I drive by big chain restaurants and right. I see their parking lots packed and I'm just like, oh, what are we missing here? Right. But at the same time, and I know they're also employing folks as well, but uh, keeping the money local, it's really important. Right. It really brings that community together. Correct. Because when we do events or things are happening, it's usually the, the small businesses getting together to work together uh -huh. and make these events happen. Uh, COVID was happening, uh, there was a few of us that were, what do you need, how can I help you? You know, we just kind of helped each other out. Mm -hmm. uh, so that, I mean, it's, it's, it's very important, just from an employment standpoint, the community involvement standpoint, and then, um, you know, it's, when I go out, and we, my wife and I, we go visit places, we typically do our best to seek out the local businesses. I feel like that's where you get like a cool, unique experience. Right. The local ice house, the bar, the local restaurant. Right, exactly. I feel the same way and when I travel I do the same thing because I mean a, a Starbucks is a Starbucks is a Starbucks no matter where you are. Exactly. It's, it's kind of getting to know the local flavor. Right. And, and I found it very interesting that you said during COVID when people were struggling and a lot of businesses were struggling instead of fighting each other for what little business was out there that you guys banded together right. to help each other mm -hmm. out. So, yeah. so really demonstrating that it truly is about mm -hmm. community. Mm -hmm. So I, I love that answer, that's right. fabulous. Um, so lastly, um, wanted to highlight that the three year anniversary is coming up. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what's going on with that? Yeah, definitely. So November 19th is our three year anniversary and we open to the public. Uh, that weekend we're, we're revamping our menu. So we're gonna launch some new items. We're really excited about that. And we, we're gonna have a, a new beer on tap for that weekend. We have some new uh, three year anniversary glassware coming out for that. Uh, we'll have a family feud style trivia on okay, Saturday. Okay, that'll be fun. That. Uh, just, you know, a couple, uh, nothing too grand, but just, you know, come celebrate with us. Have some beer, have some pizza, and have, just have a good time. Your birthday. Yeah, have a great time. Okay, so um, people will definitely come if you let them know where you are. So, what's your address here? It's 516 Brooklyn Avenue, San Antonio, Texas. We're also on Facebook, uh, Instagram, just under back, Unturned Brewing Company. Okay, and um, for the people watching the blog, those links will be attached down below, so you can go look up the information, and please stop in and join us. So that's about it for today. Again, I am Bobby Owens with Remax North, specializing in real estate in downtown San Antonio, and that wraps up our episode with Ricardo. Thank you so much. Cheers. Bye, guys. Thank you.